Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to share some things that I've been working on as far as for a challenge. And this challenge is for Sally. I will leave her YouTube channel link down below. I did find her challenge on Instagram, so I'm not sure if she shared it on both platforms, but um, if you have an Instagram, you can go check that out. So it's a Gingy's challenge, so gingerbread. And um, I actually don't have a lot of gingerbread, so I had to go through all my stash. And <laughs> a lot of it was through my Christmas stash, of course, because that's pretty much where I have my gingerbreads. But um, for this challenge, she's requesting a gingerbread. So you can either hand make it or buy one. Um, I guess that she is going to be using them as ornaments on a tree, if I'm not mistaken. But of course, you know, you can always ask her that. And then a set of gingerbread bows and then a mini pocket letter. So the first thing I'm going to share with you is like the ornaments. <coughs> like I said, I was going through my stash. Believe it or not, I had this set of um, like little cookie gingerbread ornaments and they were probably gifted to me and what I did was just vamp them up a little bit I just added some bling to the buttons and then I did add some white flat gems for the eyes and nose and then I went around and used my white puffy paint to outline the gingerbread now it did already have a white outline but it wasn't bright enough in my opinion um so I just went ahead and did it redid it with a uh, white puffy paint so here's like the little rocking horse so she's only requesting one so this probably would have been just fine but I did find these in a set in my stash so I went ahead and just you know I'm just sending her all three so those are the gingies or the one gingy and then I'll send her the extra and then as far as the bows I found these bows um, in my stash so what I did was just add some eyelash trim and then these are the little gingerbreads that come from the picks from Dollar Tree so I went ahead and just added those to the center so they're not like fluffy bows or more on the flatter side and they're smaller too so I think this would be fine for like smaller projects so those are my bows and then for the pocket letter <coughs> excuse me this is my pocket letter. Again, everything kind of comes from my Christmas dash, but then I didn't really want to focus on Christmas. Um, but they are with the colors, of course. So these are the little gingerbread stickers, I believe, from Dollar Tree. And then I just backed it up on like this. Um, it's a jumbo confetti. And then it's like a green. And then I used a snowflake. And then I had this ephemera that says Wonderland. And the paper pad that I used, let me see. I got, I'm not sure where I got this. It could have been AliExpress or maybe even Timu. I'm not sure. Um, last year. So this is the paper. And um, I used it because I had the little gingerbread on there. So um, I did turn the middle one as a shaker. So I thought that was cute. And then on the side, I just um, used some green like sequence trim out of this little bow here. This probably should have been red, but you know, it is what it is. It's already on there. So, <laughs> and then the gingerbread little charm that was gifted to me. It's just on this little bale here. So I thought that was super cute. And then I added just two little goodies in the back. Um, so yeah, that is my pocket letter. I didn't do too much, um, cause I, for the center part, cause I wanted the shaker to uh, be the focal point, but I did add this little, um, another little wooden jemmy or not jemmy, gingy, um, on here. And this was where the gingerbread was at. And I just did that. So it can have like a 3d effect, but yeah, that is my pocket letter. So that is my entry for her challenge. So if you're interested, again, I will leave her information in my description box. And I want to thank you guys all so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.